Hey, what up, decisive marketers? We're gonna be talking about a presentation tool today. is called Dactopus, and I kind of like this one because I did try what a, what was that slide bean? Yeah, so I wasn't really happy with that because it felt really clunky. Uh, but with Dactopus, it seems like their templates are pretty decent and it seems a lot easier to use and uh, you know it seems like really quick for you to set up something ready to go um, so I'm quite excited to test this out but before I dive into Dactopus be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content so here we go um, we are in Dactopus right here I was trying it out um, so we have this one right here uh, okay so let me just create new presentation and these are all the <coughs> uh, templates that they have and you can see that it seems to keep scrolling for quite a bit so quite a bit of templates right here and I do like some of them so for example this one right here so you can see like this is the the slide it's simple uh product information right here right it's very clean and nice uh it's, you know it's a product sales sheet right so you know it's easy to to you know hand that out right and then you got a startup pitch deck slides right here which is how many slides is this quite a bit of stuff and you can see you know it's clean and nice and uh you know it has all the it has all the essential slides that you need and you you can even embed videos in in these slides as well so i do like what i'm seeing with that topper so far let's try let's try this one here work from home deck okay so this is more like a content kind of slide so it's like an informational slide and then you've got business proposal templates as well let's see Right, so this one kind of covers everything. Very nice uh, proposal slides that we have right here as well. So pretty good stuff, I would say. Uh, so let's let me just kind of show you how it works. Right, so let's say if you pick a template, you click on edit. Okay, and all you need to do is just edit the logo just click on this upload your own logo edit the title uh, subtitle upload your own image or let's see if they have right so they they have in uh, unsplash in here so you can even insert some images from unsplash right and then change the icon list which let's see how Okay, so that's the icon list. Okay, and then you can change the title and you know, you just kind of do what it says right here and you know, it's done. Uh, and you can download it as a PPT, so I kind of like it and you have a PDF as well. So, Dactopus is compatible with PowerPoint while you know when when i tried slide b i didn't like that because it doesn't work with powerpoint or you gotta convert everything so i hate that <laughs> and uh let's see right so i can customize the design right change the design change the font the color palettes let's see right so just clicking on the different palette you know switches everything instantly right so that saves you a lot of time uh to design what you want uh let's see and i can set up my own colors as well set up my own fonts 
and responsive mode so let's see how that works okay so it will appear responsive on mobile devices can we try that okay so the slide looks like this but some tables that are a little bit longer are kind of cropped okay i think the responsive mode could be improved uh, upon and uh, let's see rehearse mode oops that's weird okay i gotta check on that right because i do have the plan right here that says business okay and then uh, let's see so i can invite users as well so uh right so let's try and create one from scratch so i do have uh, i have already created one from scratch right here oops this is not the one let me just jump back in here and this is the this is the one from scratch so i do like this because it seems to save me a lot of time to set up something right so you, you can see that you know there are different layouts right here you know it saves you a lot of time right so let's say you want a timeline you just click on that uh, and you know it, it jumps right in you just got to change the background image change you know some of the stuff you know it saves you a lot of time and you don't have to go into every single slide to edit uh, which is kind of how PowerPoint works right this allows you to you know quickly just edit make small changes to your slides uh, throughout the entire slides so that saves you a lot of time and then you can click and then you know you can choose a different one you get a thank you page you know and you're ready to go right you can keep you can click the next one uh, let's say you want to embed your website URL right you can just put in your URL and it starts showing up you see that sorry so it saves you a lot of time right here very quick and fast uh, definitely am enjoying this right here okay uh, let's see if we can okay, let's expand this okay so what I can see right here it seems to be that um, It seems to be that it is pretty fixed in the layout because there isn't much that I could do. There's not much editing at all. Okay, and then I can upload the voice as well, so I can just sort of. Uh, have people play the PowerPoint and I will do the explanation so that's actually very very useful uh, I would say for Dactopus definitely uh, very nice it definitely it, it doesn't have like you know PowerPoint kind of features where you can add more elements in here it's very fixed layout right not much that you can do here right it's pretty much you gotta follow their templates so that's that's kind of what's missing okay so yeah so if you want something that is highly customizable then you want to use maybe slide bean slide bean would have more features uh, with Dactopus, it's very fixed layouts, not much they can change around, right? And then maybe you just change the color palettes around, 
you know that's that's all you can do here okay not much you can tweak around but you know you get things done fast so I think that's what's important if you're going to be uploading a lot of uh, maybe you know your you want to put images and stuff like that uh, I don't think this is the the tool for it okay so if you're going to be showing maybe screenshots or stuff like that in your slides definitely not the best one I mean because the like if you're going to be showing like multiple slides right so you can't do so because it is you know you can only insert one image right here so I would say that there are limitations to Dactopus. I think it's it's a great tool if you want to get things up fast, but it's missing certain things. Uh, I mean, it's not customizable. Uh, it's fixed layout. You get things up quickly if you need a simple slide tool, but that's kind of what there is to Dactopus. Uh, overall I do like this if I want to get slides done up very quickly this would definitely be the tool that I would use but there, if I need something more customizable I would still jump back into using uh, PowerPoint which is free uh, because you can use your Microsoft OneDrive as well uh, you know PowerPoint is, is, is all free you're just using the storage from OneDrive so that's all I have to share about Tectopus um, I would prefer this over Slack Bean uh, and it's also easily convertible to PowerPoint so for example you want to get stuff done up much faster with Tectopus but you need certain customizable features you could export this as a PowerPoint slides, put it up onto PowerPoint and you know uh, use that as your final kind of tool to do your presentations. So that's all I have to share about Dactopus. If you enjoyed this video, do give me a thumbs up. If you know anyone who could benefit from a pop uh, a slides too cloud-based slides too be sure to share this video with them and lastly let me know what you think about Dactopus in the comments below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.